Hi there. In this map info video, um, we're going to, I'm going to show you how to look at what the object types are in a vector map. Let me just go to see what version I've got here. So that's 1704, 64-bit. Map info pro. So I'll just say this workspace actually. So here, here we are. I'm, I'm just randomly chose a place, although our borg is some fine alcohol. And uh, which I, I, I've tried out very nice indeed. Um, so what I'm just going to do is play this sort of use case scenario where maybe you've been supplied some vector data, some geometry where there's mixed geometries in the file, or there's you know that some somehow it's got a bit uh, messed up. Maybe maybe it's supposed to be a load of lines, but there's one point somewhere. That's that sort of thing. You're trying to do a bit of QA, bit 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 of cleaning up. Um, so what we'll do is in the cosmetic layer we'll start editing uh, because I want to insert some uh, some objects. So um, let's turn it on. So let's first of all uh, let's insert a point or a few points. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six points. Let's insert line one. Two, so a really small one there. Three. I'll just randomly make some lines. Don't know how many there are. So there's some lines, and now we'll do a uh, some polygons. Um, we'll just do two polygons. So as you can see, one of the one of the things in Map Info, of course, is you can force um, multi geometry types, you know, multi multi types, uh, into the single tab file. Uh, whereas, of course, in shapefile, you say this is a polygon shapefile and therefore only stores polygons. Um, so you, you, you can just just whack in any any geometry types. I could put in text uh, uh, collections, whatever I like in here in, in map if I tab. So it's a bit more open. So let's just save this. Um, I'm not really a massive fan of this in, this new interface. I know it's not that new, but I still prefer the old tool buttons. Um, so let's save. Um, these. Let's call it uh, mixed objects. As you can see, I've uh, done this before. So I've got this layer called um, mixed objects. You see in the in the um, uh, tables there. Uh, I've got mixed objects open and this Orbis um, uh, TMS layer, raster layer, which is very nice. That's the Orbis stuff. Um, I don't use Google or OSM anymore. I, I just use Orbis now. It's much much better rendering, especially on labels. Um, la la labels are much better. Um, so uh, I'll just get rid of editing on cosmetic for a second. And so I've got this mi mixed object uh, layer. Let's just uh, have a quick look at that. So let's do a, a new browser and it's got all these zero IDs. Let's just fix that. Let's do an update column on mixed objects and just put in row ID. So row ID will just give me a unique uh, number so that would be number one and then that would be the final record number so if it were, I won't browse results because I've already got browser open press ok 1 to 15 so there are 15 records it's just giving me a really quick way and I'll, I'll say this of uniquely identifying each um, record that I've uh, that I've got here so if I just let's just float this so you'll see what I mean because then I can if I click on each one you see it'll tell me that's number number six that's number 13 and the last one I drew was that polygon so you see I've got this um, simple unique identifier that just helps keep track of things so so what what can I do here so in um, SQL select I can pull out uh, all the object types and um, uh, see how many they are so I go to SQL select done it before so it's probably yeah already in there so um, the, the way you the way you do this is uh, to query the object so the select columns is it'll be first of all I might as well select the table there mixed objects it'll do it anyway but um, so the column is ID and then a comma and then the next thing I want is the string value of the object just return the string value of the object there's an obinfo type um, sort of def that you can 
pull up, look it, look it up in the Map Basic Programmer language, which will give you, I don't know, five for a point and seven for a line or whatever it is. Um, but I, I actually want to print very, very clearly to the user what it is. It is a point, it is a polygon, it is a line. So I get that text back, hence using the string function. So turn whatever the object is into a string, basically. Uh, but let's um, count how many there are. So just go down here and count. Oh, it's not. Uh, oh, and they're all. It's an aggregate, of course. Um, so count. Now, if if I just ran this, and I will do, you'll see it won't come back quite with what you're expecting because it will just pick off the first one and run it, but just count everything up. Um, but actually thinking that it's all one object type, but that's obviously wrong. What I want to do is say for each object type. So effectively you're asking for a group statement, a group by, and the group by is two. The group by is two is because it's the second field. It's the second uh, column that you're asking to be returned, um, which is that one. Um, so I want you to group by, I want the SQL to group by that second value. So, so pick out all the uniquenesses of that second uh, value, i.e. point line, and then give me the count. So it's straightforward SQL, group by two. Uh, let's browse results. And there you go. So um, six points, seven lines, and two regions. To see how this has given a sort of overall kind of report back, you might say, it's a sort of re report that's that's come back. Um, so it's given the totals. Uh, but what actually I'd like to do is say, well, you know, th this record, what is it? This record, what is it? This record, what is it? Uh, because this, of course, is all grouped by point, line, and region, the polygon. So, um, but I'd like to bring back each individual ID and, and say what it is. Okay, slight alteration to SQL select. You'll put, um, oh, I've already done it there. You'll put um, a one in the group by, one comma two. So group by the ID and the type. So um, count will probably become redundant. Yes, it will, because there'll always be one value. So you don't need to count anymore. So for each ID, so I've got group by one in there with a unique object type, geometry, which is what the two will do for us. List them back. That's okay. Oh, click browse results. That's okay. And there you go. So ID one is a point. These are all points down to ID six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 lines, 13 is line, and two regions, 14 and 15. So it's just two regions, yeah, there were. Anyway, I hope you find that useful. Thanks very much.